everybody, this is Ed from PC120. And our shop tool of the week this week is a digital multimeter. So as you can see here, multimeters come in all different brands, sizes, and settings. So the first thing we're gonna go over is we'll go over the basic functions of the multimeter. So these two settings here are voltage AC, and you have your low side and your high side. If you're ever unsure what voltage you're testing for AC, always set it at the highest setting and then work your way down. As you can see the next setting here, this is voltage DC. Then we have Hertz. Then we have amps DC. Over here, this symbol, you're looking at for testing diodes. Ohm reading, non-contact voltage, as you can do on the front here. And then this one here is for testing continuity. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna test farads in a capacitor. So one thing you wanna remember is anytime you wanna test a capacitor, you wanna remove that from the circuit. As you can see here, all your capacitors are measured in farads, and this is a 25 farad capacitor. So first thing we'll do is turn our meter over to MFD, which will get a UF here, which stands for farads. So then you'll put your leads on top of the capacitor. And we'll take our reading. As you can see, it says 25, which is within parameter, so that we know that capacitor is good. All right, so next we're gonna do is we're gonna take a DC voltage reading. So the first thing you wanna do is turn your meter to DC voltage, it's indicated right there. Then you wanna take your, your red lead, put it on the positive side of the battery, and your black lead, you wanna put on the negative side of the battery, put them there and hold. And as you can see, the battery's reading 6.22 volts, which is good. Next thing we're gonna do is properly test the GFCI receptacle. So the first thing you wanna do is take your extension cord and make sure you plug it into the AC power plug. As you see here, this is our GFI outlet. And in the center here, there's two buttons. One says test, one says reset. When you press the test button, it trips the outlet, red light comes on, signifying that it did trip. So then we will press that in, reset. And then the next thing we'll grab is an outlet tester. There's all different kinds out there. So we'll plug that into the outlet. And as you can see here, the two orange lights came on so that signifies that everything is wired correctly inside. So we will press the black button located here. And as you see, it did trip. So we'll reset that again. And the last thing you wanna do is you wanna set the meter to voltage AC, and you wanna test the outlet to make sure that you have 120 volts coming to it. So we'll take the leads, insert them in there. And as you can see on the meter, we're getting 120 volts. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. And until next time, bye.